bushcraft. This is Justin. A little under the weather today, and uh, but we're going to go through this anyway. So, I recently did a video on the number two, what to do a number two in a blizzard using a five-gallon bucket, trash bag, and a uh, pool noodle. The process for that started with what kind of kit should you put in your vehicle for yourself, your spouse, or your kids, if for, God forbid, they get stranded in a winter storm. Um, it's not uncommon, it's not common, but it does happen. Last year on I-95, there was quite a few people that were stuck for at least 24 hours. And with the recent weather that we've been having, I thought it prudent to uh, make up a, a new, new kit for the vehicles. This is strictly for getting stuck in winter weather. Uh, it's not for getting out of a, of a snow bank. It's if you're stranded uh, due to a blizzard and you are stuck in your vehicle for X amount of time. Uh, so we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna start with everything that's not in the bucket itself. Everything will go into a waterproof bag. One of the things that I do do is <clears throat> see is I do write the contents down in the bag so that whoever needs it can look at it and see from the front what exactly is in that bag. We'll start with how to keep yourself warm in one way and that's with a sleeping bag. Uh, I highly suggest a sleeping bag and a wool blanket. Now, FYI if you just buy a blanket throw it in the car make sure you uh, you wash it appropriately before you do so. Some of the cheaper wool blankets that you buy now really do stink. The other thing that we throw in is a good pair of winter boots. These are a thousand gram Fensolet. They are steel toe work boots, but, and cleats. Uh, there's different styles of cleats that, that we have, but whatever you have works. And the reason I throw boots and pleats in there is because most people when they get in their vehicles they're just getting in to drive and they're not really paying attention to dressing appropriately for the weather so I also throw in a pair of bib overalls and a heated Milwaukee coat now, two batteries for the coat and that'll last you on low for about eight hours maybe ten if you're conservative with it we also have the pool noodle for the bucket, four bottles of water, and you should open these and drain quite a bit of water out of those down to maybe about here because you're gonna leave them in your vehicle. Most people aren't gonna bring this bag in and out and that water's gonna freeze when it gets cold. When it freezes, it's gonna blow apart that. I highly suggest thicker, stronger bottles, not necessarily just regular drinking water bottles. Uh, food, keep a, uh, Peak Refuel, Dehydrated, and an MRE. Your, your choice, your flavor, what you want to put in there, but definitely something to think about. In the bucket, a beanie, a good pair of insulated work gloves, an extra pair of wool socks. This is a signal kit from us, and in that signal kit, it comes with a this is a, an economical <laughs> signal kit, by the way, but a cheap LED headlamp, a Mylar blanket, two Kim lights, whistle on a lanyard, and an orange signaling cloth. I've done a video, or will be doing a video on the signal kit and how to use it. I also have an extra headlamp. Two big lighters, one is none, a roll of Gorilla duct tape, emergency road flares, a roll of toilet paper, inside the toilet paper are big otter compressed towelettes, just a little bit of moisture and these expand, they're actually really nice. Hygiene when you're in a vehicle is pretty important, keeping yourself clean. Uh, they're small, take up no space and lightweight. Dude wipes. Hand warmers. These are the stick-on body warmers. 
and then hand warmers. There's two to a pack, so there's eight. The fire extender, this is a, a big, big biscuit from JKSB. A multi-tool, has a knife, saw, pliers, screwdrivers. Spare set of batteries for your headlamp. Pathfinder pack stove. Big fan of the Pathfinder pack stove. An isobutane bottle. Fork spoon combo. Pathfinder canteen cup and bottle set. A battery bank with a cord for your cell device. A seating hot seat pad. And then of course a heavy duty contractor grade trash bag and then three trash bags. One of the things you have to keep in mind for a situation like this is making sure that you can A, stay hydrated and stay warm. If you're going to be there for a long time, it's nice to have some snacks. You don't necessarily need an MRE. Throw in some snack bars, throw in whatever. I put the pack stove and a canteen cup because if your water, if you do lose your water, you can always use snow, melt snow boil your own water to make it safe but dress appropriately for what the conditions are or have the clothing available for the conditions that you're going out into too many times we just jump in the car jump in the truck and we go and we're not really paying attention to what's happening it might just be a trip home from work it might be a, an extended vacation doesn't matter where you're going just be prepared for it and that's all i've got thank you